This is Joseph Trust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, is there a way to clone polypaint similar to the clone tool inside of Photoshop? To start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I have the Earthquake model here loaded in. And the question is asking about cloning some of this polypaint detail that has been painted on a model. So if I come to my subtool palette here, and I'm just going to isolate Earthquake's body, and let's say I want to come through and I want to clone some of his tattoo design here to an area of his back. So is there a way I can take this information that I've already painted on the model and clone it elsewhere? So I'm going to show two ways you can do this process. And both these processes involve using 2.5D. So to start off, just position Earthquake on your canvas so you can see the area you want to clone and the area you want to clone to. After you have it like so, just simply come over here and click on this projection master button. And when you click this button, what's gonna happen is you're gonna get this little dialog that pops up. In here you can select what values you want projection master to use. So we just wanna clone the poly paint or the RGB coloring on the model. So I'm gonna set this to colors and then I'm gonna disable fade. I'm gonna make sure deformation is turned off and I'm gonna hit drop now. Now when you click drop now, it's gonna take your model and it's gonna take it out of edit mode and put it in 2.5D mode. So right now your model is in 2.5D. Now when your model is out of edit and in 2.5D, you're gonna notice in the tool palette here that you have these different brushes now that you can select. So I come over here and just simply click on this single layer brush. Down here at the bottom, you have all these 2.5D brushes. So now that we're in 2.5D, we can use any of these. And one of these brushes here is called the cloner brush. So I'm just gonna select that. And now with the cloner brush selected, I'm gonna come up to the top and I'm just gonna enable RGB and I'm gonna turn off Z add. And then I'm gonna hover over the area of the model that I want to start to clone from. And I'm just gonna hold control and click. That's going to store that location. And now if I go to the other area of my mesh, it's gonna change my draw size here. And now I can just simply click and drag and it's going to clone that poly paint information to this area on screen. Now, while you're doing this, you wanna make sure you're holding down so that clone takes place because it's looking at the starting point that you selected. So I just come through and describe that tattoo there. And now if I wanna repeat this, I can just start painting elsewhere and it's gonna apply that poly paint again. And every time you click and drag, it's going to use that area you selected. So if I select this area here by holding control and clicking and now draw over here, it's going to use that precise area to clone that poly paint information. Now after you have your cloning done, you just need to come back up to the Projection Master button here and simply click that. It's gonna open this again. And in here, you can just come down to this Pick Up Now, and it will take that 2.5D version of your model and convert it back to the 3D version. So now I can say Zoom Out. And as you can tell, all that poly paint information that I just cloned is now on my 3D model. Now in addition to using just Projection Master inside here, you can also send your model over to Photoshop and use the clone features in there. So I'm just going to rotate to the front of Earthquake here and just position him. And I'm gonna to come to the Document tab this time. And here I'm gonna locate the Zap Link button. So when you click Zap Link, it's gonna send whatever you have on screen here over to Photoshop. Then you can paint inside of Photoshop, use the clone brush in Photoshop, and then send it back to ZBrush. So the process for this is just come over here and click. You're gonna get another little dialog that pops up. It's gonna have similar settings to the Projection Master, so make sure it fades off, and I'm gonna click Drop Now. Now after you click that Drop Now, Photoshop should open up and you should have Earthquake loaded in. You're gonna see you're gonna have three layers on this. So you have a top layer that's called Z Shading, and it says Do Not Edit, and you have a bottom layer called Fill Z Shading that says Do Not Edit. So do not edit the top or the bottom layer. The middle layer is the one that's containing your model's information. So in here, I can now come over and select the clone tool. I can pick that part of his arm, come through and start cloning it on his chest. So something like that. You can take his belly button, and maybe put that shading detail there. Maybe part of this tattoo right here. And after you're happy with this, now we just need to save this file. So we just wanna make sure you have that layer one selected. Go to File, do a Save. And I'll just save it out. And now if we go back to ZBrush, You'll see when you come back to ZBrush, you should get a dialog that pops up like this. And we just want to simply click re-enter ZBrush. Now it's going to take that painting that we did inside of Photoshop and lay it back on top of our model here. 
And now if we do that pick up, it's now going to take that and pick it up and apply it back to the poly paint of our mesh. So those are two processes which will give you access to different cloning features using the 2.5D systems inside a ZBrush and then taking those and converting them back to the poly paint of your model. If you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.